Namaste World Razor, Sabina and Roger here. Let's dive right into part number two of this absolutely amazing documentary called Inside Tirumala Tirupati. They are the Giyars and they Giyars. literally hold the keys to the entire sanctum, oh. opening temple doors in the morning and locking them at night. No warriors. Security. The Jiyars are descendants of Sri Ramanuja, a prominent spiritual leader and reformist of the 11th century, wow. who was instrumental in prescribing many of the rituals and practices still carried out in the temple. Mm. Cool. Amongst the temple's most popular traditions is the prasadam, or sacred offering that devotees collect after emerging from inside the sanctum. Huh? In fact, it's acquired quite the celebrity status amongst Indian sweets, oh. the Tirupati Laddu. Laddus! Oh. Hmm. No way! Yeah. Ganesh? Yeah. Bal Ganesh loves ladus. Mm. Geographical indication status, which means their preparation and quality is unique to the temple. Mm. Wow! Now it's even more worth going there. What makes <laughs> these ladus special? Yeah. The answer may lie in how they're prepared in a tantalizing blend of modern technology and age-old culinary tradition. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my God. That's impressive. Hmm. And people just get it as an offering when they leave. How Sound generous normal is that? The crowd at the Tirumala yeah. temple clocks in at a whopping 60 to 80,000 hmm. people a day. Wow. All seeking communion with the temple's deity, Sri Venkateshwara Swami. <sighs> Devotees will expect all the typical experiences of a visit to Tirumala, from the divine darshan to savoring the famous Tirupati Laddu. <laughs> for which they are willing to stand in yet another queue, leading wow. up to any of the over 60 Laddu counters. 60. Oh my oh, God. The Laddu God. has a special place in the food story oh of God. the temple. <laughs> oh, that's gonna it's be an a integral day. part of <laughs> Navidyam, or daily meal I'm offered to the scared. Lord himself. <laughs> Each oh. Laddu is a hand-rolled spear made from ground flour, sugar, oh, and ghee, oh. or clarified butter. It is infused with spices like cardamom mm. and dry fruits like cashews oh. and raisins. Nice. There was a time when laddu making was done exclusively inside the sanctum's bodu or kitchen. Mm. But in 2006, a new mechanized kitchen was set up oh. outside so the main many. sanctum for the preparatory work. Both Incredible. kitchens work in tandem to roll out around 300,000 laddus a day. Holy oh. smokes. <gasps> oh, wow. You know what that means? That means we can get more than one. <laughs> it looked like, it looked like that, yeah. Deep fried <laughs> fragments called bundis emerge. Oh my God. At this point, tradition gets a technological upgrade. Hmm. Trays Incredible. of the deep fried bundis mounted on an automated ropeway. As they ascend up narrow passages, they are headed for a destination where cameras are not allowed to follow. Oh. On the other side, waiting to receive the trays inside the main sanctum are around 200 Brahmin priests hmm. who roll out each laddu My by God, hand. That's incredible. <laughs> Worldwide? Oh, While temple the priests wow. maintain religious rigor in the kitchen, laddu trays go through quality checks in the testing labs hmm. of Tirumala oh, Tirupati so Devasthanams, oh or TTD. What? Here we'll hmm. check the shelf life of the laddus. For example, today we have taken this uh, big laddu sample. This will be broken. 
and uh, how much is the uh, dry fruits level and the sugar candies, how many grams of there. Usually it will retain up to 7 to 10 days maximum. The testing lab also what? tests every ingredient used in the making of the prasadams, which includes hmm. not just the laddus, but also massive quantities of meals made inside the kitchens of TTD. The Matru Sri Tarigonda Vinga Mamba Nitya Anna Prasadam complex. For around 15 hours a day, the kitchens here boil and bubble away, preparing nearly 65 to 75,000 meals a day. Oh my God. Like the Laddus, too, yeah. the meals yeah, too are prepared in the Lord's name. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh. The fare is quintessentially South Indian and the ingredients strictly vegetarian. Nice. Integral to the menu are coconuts. And mm. how they reach the kitchen is a story of devotion. Oh. Every day, hundreds, if not thousands of devotees make many special offerings to Sri Venkateshwara Swami. Mm. These donations contribute to the Tirumala Temple's resources making it, according to some estimates, one of the richest Hindu temples in the world. Oh. The offerings are well, both grand course. and humble. So many Coconuts, a popular offering to the god, are presented at an altar in direct line with the sanctum, mm. making a mountain of well over 100,000 coconuts each day. Holy smokes. Once oh a day, a coconut collection squad rolls around, unlocking the hundi or no. collection box and shoveling it all to be transported to Tirumala's kitchen. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Was there a westerner just in there? Oh, I don't know. All the vegetables used in the kitchen are donations hmm. made in the name of Sri Venkateshwara Swami Yay. and eventually Wonderful. finding their way back onto the plates hmm. of pilgrims. I want to bring coconuts too. So you you eat your own offering, basically. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The uh, prasadams also oh. are very sattvic, sattvic. no uh, nice. extra spices and all that. After mm. being offered to the deity, it becomes prasadam that has to be distributed to the devotees who mm. come for darshan, Amazing. and they take it as a token of uh, blessing from the deity. Mm. In an Anna Prasadam, people will walk in, no restrictions. Anybody can walk in to have Swamivar Prasadam. We are having four halls. Each hall capacity is 1,000 persons. Mm. Similarly, in ground floor, two halls. In first floor, two halls. I have a lot of money. 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 The cycle of seating, feeding, and cleaning is repeated in numerous loops through the day. Oh, amazing. Reminding us that when it comes to Tirumala, managing crowds of tens of thousands is simply business hmm. as usual. For a day, year, 65 to 75,000 people are taking in normal days. And special occasions like uh, Brahmotsvams and other Ashpias days, we are uh, serving nearly 1,50,000, 1,25,000. Auspicious occasions <laughs> like the upcoming Pramotsavam festival turn up the heat for TTD and not just in the kitchens. As the grand annual event rolls around, it will push all temple authorities to ramp up services. TTD, each devotee is lucky if they get more than a few seconds in front of the innermost sanctum. Join hands with state officials to cater to crowds that could swell to over 100,000. We need to do our job much better than what we do now, without any scope or any coordination problems at any point of time. <laughs> Let us make it one of the finest promotions. Uh, uh, so you have to be at your best on the ground to save our day. The countdown to Brahmotsavam has begun. 
The hilltop temple town of Tirumala has become the hub for over a hundred thousand devotees hmm. here to celebrate the nine-day festival Pramotsava. Pramotsava marks the yearly celebrations of Sri Venkateshwara Swami's hmm. mythological arrival in Tirumala. Hmm. The Brahmotsava is the mega festival happening for uh, nine days in our hmm. temple. And this is definitely to celebrate it with all our relatives, friends and neighbors and everybody. During the festival, grand celebrations take place both inside the sanctum and outside on the streets. Every morning and evening, the processional form of the deity, Sri Malayappa Swami, will emerge from the sanctum. Depending on the day's schedule, he will be mounted on more than a dozen different vahanams or vehicles and carried along the Mada streets around the temple. Wow. As the festival kicks off, the atmosphere is a buzz. <laughs> Special deliveries arrive from India and abroad. From processional umbrellas from a neighboring state to flowers, some of which have traveled across the globe. Wow. three months intimacy donors letter flowers Singapore, on non-festival days, the horticulture department goes through anywhere between 100 to 200 kilos of flowers. Wow. During Brahmotsavam, quantities skyrocket. Many of these flowers are destined for processional vahanams, which will be witnessed by massive crowds. On any given day, festival or not, managing and catering to Tirumala's crowds is one of the town's biggest administrative challenges. One that needs thousands of volunteers called Srivari Sevaks. Srivari Sevaks are ubiquitous across Tirumala, distinctive in brightly colored scarves as they help serve, guide and assist devotees at various locations. In the year 2000, it was 198 people. Now, per day, uh, there are 1,500 to 2,000 people uh, from across the uh, country, especially from South India. During Brahmotsavam, there will be approximately 3,000 Srivari Sevaks on duty. As they gear up to serve the incoming Brahmotsavam pilgrims, all across Tirumala there is heightened vigilance amongst security agencies. Oh. Oh, wow. TTD's Security and Vigilance Committee must coordinate efforts with the Andhra Pradesh State Police to make sure the event goes off without a hitch, especially at the chariot or Vahanam processions. We have like fixed cameras, we have PTZ cameras, and all these things are monitored. Like just let us think exactly when the Vahanam is moving right from the Vahanam Mandapam. Right from that particular place, Vahanam Mandapam, till the procession goes and then it comes back to the Vahanam Mandapam, it has been watched. Nice. Police department, in any Bandhobas we regulate. But here, there is a service orientation for the police department where we have, we show the human touch 
to the service what we are rendering to the public or the pilgrims who have come for uh, darshanam of Lord Venteshwara. With each day of the Brahmotsavam, new devotees arrive. Day 5 sees some of the largest gatherings, all here to attend the evening processional service called Garuda Seva. Pilgrims still have a long wait ahead of them. Meanwhile, for TTD's meal service staff, this is crunch time. They must ensure that devotees are well taken care of with refreshments. Three lakhs of the buttermilks, one slat already distributed in four Mada streets. Nearly one lakh fifty, one lakh seventy-five thousand was completed. Garuda Savan Puskarinchukuna Vacha 20, lakhs of people ki we are all already prepared and uh, get up uh, with our staff. So no worry about uh, pilgrim wise. TTD's top brass is on the ground, personally overseeing arrangements and meeting up with the pilgrims. We expect everything to go as per our original plan. And we are ever alert, we are monitoring to see that things go on smoothly. As evening falls, the energy around the temple is electric. In the control rooms of the Sri Venkateshwara Bhakti oh, yeah. channel, teams are preparing for live television broadcasts. Mm. Live stream. It's a broadcast. Oh, when is it? We're not yeah. going to miss this one. Yeah. While in security control rooms, everyone is on high alert. Mm. And then, the long-awaited moment is here. A gilded chariot emerges in the shape of the divine vehicle Garuda. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mounted on top is Sri Maliappa Swami, the processional form of the main deity of the temple. <laughs> the Jiyars lead the way at the ceremonial front lines of the procession. Along the processional route, students have come in from the Veda Patishan. We have been visiting here from past uh, maybe 30 years from our childhood. So I visit here for every Brahmotsavam. This is some unique place. You feel like uh, you are very attached to God. The revelry continues beyond a single evening mm. through mm. the remaining four days of Pramotsavam. Mm. Each day will bring the idol out from the sanctum, mounted on different vehicles. Pull the other women yeah, in there too. Yeah. Some representing awesome. mythological symbols in the legend of Sri Venkateshwara wow. Swami. Mm. Others pulled forward by the collective force of his devotees. The god will be worshipped in a multitude of rituals, observed by the milling crowds. On this hilltop temple town, the material will meet the metaphysical, mm. and devotion will continue unabated wow. in the name of Sri Venkateshwara Swami of Tirumala. Hmm. What a very special place. Hmm, that was, yeah. Lost for words. That was incredible. That is right up <laughs> my alley. Words. I absolutely love devotion, pilgrims going to holy places. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic. It really touches the heart. So mm -hmm. many people coming together. And then, yeah, just the immense task of <laughs> catering to and taking care of all those people. Just a daunting undertaking. And it incredible. seems like they're managing extremely well, like so many people every day feeding them all the kitchens holy smokes wow, wow. <laughs> yeah it's those, those ladus and just 
even the preparation of that and where they're going and then the priests are the ones that you know form them in the end yeah. and then the people bringing the offerings so it's all all the food is made from the offerings of people bringing them all the coconuts and everything it's just absolutely you know incredible and mind-boggling i'm speechless i don't know we've seen so many videos i have to say it again <laughs> and it's like there's always more like more mind-blowing mm -hmm. um stuff out there happening you know yeah. festivals and that's why we used to get those comments i haven't seen them in a while but people would say congratulations now you know point zero 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 one percent no it actually stopped hinduism i haven't seen it in a long time i haven't time. seen it in a while yeah. either but so maybe we know point zero 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 two percent now yeah. or something yeah. <laughs> but we definitely yeah. have a long way to go and i love having my mind blown and yeah. then coming across something that's totally Amazing. new that i've have not heard about <sighs> like last time really recently with with jagannath right yeah that was awesome mm -hmm. this is equally as awesome so absolutely fantastic i'm gonna have to dive more into this deity and the connection with vishnu yeah. and krishna and what it all represents and then the story of the garuda also all of it yeah it's incredible wow. yeah 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 so my god <laughs> it's incredible and in fact just the efforts and then they made that they made the replica temple so people can actually see what it's like inside the main temple because it's incredible. Yeah, from what I understood is that regular people aren't allowed in the main temple. Yeah. So they're just trying to see and get a glimpse of the deity from a distance, but then they can make a separate, you know, trip to the replica temple. Which is yeah, fantastic. The amount of effort that goes into you know, catering to all the pilgrimages is absolutely wonderful. It's, it's just, it's, I don't know, it makes me speechless. So, fantastic. It's we speechless. would very much like to go there someday. Yeah, put it on the list. Yeah. and then It's in uh, the south of India, it says. How far away is it from Isha Yoga Center? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know. That's going to be our first stop mm -hmm. for now. Yeah. Uh, next year. No, not this year. Yeah. yeah. So I absolutely love this video. If you liked it as much as we did, please hit that like button. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let us know any details, anything we've overlooked. Uh, and also, if you've been there, have you gone on pilgrimage? That's have you, what I want to know too. Have you gotten those ladus? <laughs> you, How are they? Have you gone with your wishes? Did you take the steps or did you take a car? Like, <laughs> let us know all about your adventure and how amazing yeah. of an experience it was because we absolutely love that kind and, of thing. And if you go there soon and get some ladus, we actually <laughs> just just added an address that you can send things to <laughs> for us yeah <laughs> send us some ladus yeah even though they what? only last seven days they said they they last oh. like maximum seven to ten days oh i didn't oh i didn't hear it never mind so don't send us ladus don't send us <laughs> it's okay <laughs> you enjoy for <laughs> us <laughs> send us ladus with preservatives from the shop <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's longer what? That's awesome. Hello, ladus. <laughs> ladus. <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure if I ever ate ladus. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. It's the words, right? Maybe we have, but we don't know the words of the things that we eat. Uh, do we have an Indian shop here next to the shishu shis uh, that we? Eat? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go check it out. Yeah. A yeah. little vlog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indian shop shopping. Yeah, let's do more of that for sure. But absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. for this beautiful documentary. And thank you so, so much to our, who requested it? Rakesh. Oh, yeah, Rakesh. Our mistake. Yeah, thank you so much. This was wonderful. We absolutely love new wow. things and having our minds blown wide open. So, uh, yeah, remember part of that, having our mind blown open is to hopefully raise ourselves <laughs> and raise the world. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm Rakesh, we love you and all our members and all of you. Hmm. Peace. <laughs>